Welcome to this episode from the Science Revision Channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about how you could smash the six mark science questions out of the park. Why is this important? Well, six marks could be the difference between you jumping up a grade boundary, or perhaps staying where you've been all year. So let's jump into it. The first thing that you've got to know is that the exam boards all publish on their website a list of key command words that form the basis of the questions that are going to be in the exam paper. Now for the six mark questions, these questions usually begin with words like describe, explain, evaluate, compare features there sometimes. But the difficulty that students have is they tend to get these things mixed up. So they answer a describe question with explain and so on. So let's look at these keywords. So let's start off with describe. The way the exam boards explain what a described question means is they say that students are asked to recall some facts, events, or processes in an accurate way. In other words, you've got to say what you would see. In other words, what would you observe? So let's look at an example here of describe. So here we have an astronaut and we're going to describe the astronaut's suit. So we say the astronaut's got heavy boots, He's got thick layers for his suit or her suit. Uh, he's got glass helmet. He has gloves, um, an oxygen tank on the back, and that tank um, would obviously feed into the helmet there. But basically, we're giving a description. If we were asked to explain, what we'd be doing is making something clear or stating the reasons for something happening. In other words, we'd be saying the heavy boots, we'd be explaining, we'd say they weight the astronaut for balance, the thick layered suit provides insulation in extreme temperatures, the tanks provide oxygen for breathing, and also pressurizes the suit. So in other words, we're explaining why the person would be wearing those particular items there. Which brings us on to evaluate. Now with an evaluate question, you want to use the information that you've either been supplied with or information that you already know to consider the fors and against and then coming up with your own judgment. So looking at the spacesuit and evaluating it, I could say that I think it's a good suit because although it's very thick and it has a glass helmet and it's got heavy boots, it provides the right environment for the astronaut to stay alive in. Let's look at another example. So this is an actual exam question. So in coronary heart disease, layers of fatty material build up inside the coronary arteries. This can cause a heart attack. Statins and stents can be used to reduce the risk of a heart attack in people with coronary heart disease. Evaluate the use of statins and stents in people with coronary heart disease. Remember to include a justified conclusion. Now, when thinking about answering a question like this, a good idea is to produce a thinking map where we know for an evaluate question, we need to look at the pros and we need to look at the cons, in this case, of statins and stents. So for the marks, we need to do the pros and cons of each, followed by a justified conclusion. And that conclusion can be anything provided that it refers to the pros and cons that I gave uh, for both of those, you'll get them out. So the first part of my question, I want the pros of statins, the cons of statins, and then the pros of having stents, and the cons of having stents. So let's jump into this question. So first of all, if we think about statins, this is taking a tablet, it lowers your blood cholesterol, this would slow up the buildup of fatty deposits in the arteries, and this means that the blood can flow to the heart muscle cells. However, the con of it is you may forget to take the tablet. You might forget to take the drug. Uh, it also takes a little bit of time to be able to uh, build up in your system. You need to take it over a long period of time. And some people have quite bad side effects um, to taking statins, so that would be a con. With a stent, this is the little mesh that holds the arteries open. It actually opens the blocked artery. Um, that enables the blood to be able to flow through and pass where the original blockage was quite easily to the heart muscle and 
you get a very rapid recovery. In other words, it's it's instant once they do it. Um, and it will work for a long period of time. The actual stent stays in place for a long time. However, the cons of having a stent is it involves surgery. Uh, you get a risk of infection from having the procedure. Um, there's a risk of having any type of surgery for that matter. And um, the last one that we could say is that um, there is a chance that, that you could have clotting after you've had the procedure. So when you then get onto your justified conclusion, you start off by writing in conclusion and you can write whatever you like here. So I'm saying stents are better for people who have more advanced blockages or who, or who are forgetful. In other words, they don't have to think about taking statins. Statins are better for people at higher risk from having surgery. Uh, and that would get me the marks. As long as my conclusion relates to the pros and cons, it doesn't really matter what I write. This next type of question is a compare question. Sometimes they call it compare and contrast. And basically what they want you to do is to look at the similarities and differences between a couple of different things. Sometimes this template that I've got here can help with that. We have the differences down one side, similarities in the middle, and then the differences of the other thing that we're comparing on the other side. So the example that I'm gonna give here is we could say, about comparing football to rugby. You might get a question which says compare and contrast, or it could be photosynthesis to respiration. And what we use is the middle bubbles that you can see there to put what the similarities are. So you play with a ball, you play on a field, um, and then you can have the differences down either side. And basically they would form your paragraphs. Obviously it would be a science question. So in football, you got 11 players in a team. However, in rugby, you have 15 players in a team. In football, you can't handle the ball, but in rugby, you can. Uh, and the idea is you'd be listing these things out where you're looking at the differences and the similarities. You don't have to write a conclusion after like you do with an evaluate question. So let's now look at the top tips that we have. Okay, so the first thing is when you get the question, you've got to plan it out. Sometimes there's loads of text in these in these uh, six mark questions. So find out what the command word is first, then skim back and you can use highlighters uh, to highlight either pros and cons or advantages and disadvantages and use different colors uh, to highlight what the advantages and the disadvantages are. But do not put color in your actual answer. OK, you must only write in black pen. Also, you can use bullet points, but you have to write in full sentences, okay? It has to be coherent and concise and don't waffle. And a big mistake that I see students doing is because they're given so much space to actually write their answers, what they do is they write too much and end up contradicting themselves, and this costs them big marks. Another top tip is make sure you use the key terminology. Very often when people are describing an experiment, they use words like amount rather than volume or mass. Use the right scientific words and you will get the marks. Also, spelling, punctuation and grammar are key. If you're starting sentences with lowercase letters and not using full stops, you're not going to get the marks for writing a coherent answer. So make sure your spelling, punctuation and grammar are as good as you can possibly get them. Okay, the key thing as well is practice, practice, practice. The more you can do, the better. That's all from me. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please leave a comment below and let me know. Have a great day.